Tamron. Thank you, Mike. It is 822, and for women having a difficult time getting pregnant, there are plenty of myths out there that what you're supposed to do as far as conception. So this morning, Randy Morris, a Chicago fertility doctor, is here to clear up some fact from fiction. Thank you so much, Dr. Morris, for joining us. Thank you, Tamara. And, you know, it's an interesting topic that we like to visit because I believe the last time we did this, a couple of months ago, phone just inundated with women asking me questions because I did the interview at the time and I was curious if we're seeing an increased number of couples having trouble conceiving or is it that women are having children later in life? Well, I think there's two things. Number one, I think we are seeing an increase in the number of couples that are experiencing difficulty primarily because they're waiting later in life and the older a woman gets the harder it becomes to get pregnant. The second thing is I think fertility and fertility treatment is a more acceptable thing now so more people with problems are likely to come out and, and see the doctor about it. That's very interesting. So let's get to some of the uh, fertility factor fiction that we have here. The first one, birth control pills reduce fertility. Is that fact or fiction? Fiction. It's Tamara. fiction. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, the old thinking was that you're inhibiting ovulation, yeah. that somehow that's going to uh, cause a problem and we now know that that's not true and in fact in certain circumstances birth control pills can be helpful towards promoting fertility. The next one blew me away, this answer. Stress causes infertility. Is that fact or fiction? Fiction. That, and everyone thinks it's stress. Yeah, it's, it's one of those old wives' tales. So it's you, not true? You talk to your mother, your yeah. mother-in-law, and they said, oh, just don't worry about it, you'll get pregnant. Uh, there's really very little of any data to support that. Well, that's interesting because we did a story the other day on these procreation vacations where they send couples off to relax and, you know, hopefully helping in, in conceiving. But You know, if, if you give a couple an opportunity to uh, uh, get together, right. then there's going to be a chance. But okay. is it any better than at home? No. no. All right, well, obesity plays a role in infertility. Is that factor? fiction? That unfortunately is fact. And, uh, Why? We, well, there's a number of issues. Uh, overweight women will have a higher instance of ovulation problems. Oh. They miscarry more often. Uh, they do poor when we try fertility treatments. There's a number of issues. Now, there. I also know if you're underweight, if you don't have a certain body percentage, you don't menstruate, thus having trouble with That fertility. can be also. So okay. the triathletes and the marathon runners, if we're not ovulating, not getting their periods, problem. Now, this next one I thought was a fact because I read it somewhere. Robitussin will improve the chances for pregnancy if a woman has thick cervical mucuses. Now, I thought this was true. Yeah. This is not. This, this one's been around for a long, long time. If you look in the medical literature, there's never been a single study that supports it. Wow. If you got a cough, great. Right. Otherwise, no help. God, that's so interesting. And then, smoking contributes to infertility. Is that fact or fiction? Uh, that's unfortunately fact as well. Uh, it decreases ovarian function. Uh, women go through menopause earlier. There's a lot of good data that suggests that it can hurt your chances for getting pregnant. Very interesting. Well, if you want more information from Dr. Morris, please check out our website, myfoxchicago.com, for all the details on this fact or fiction. Educate yourself to hopefully help if you're having issues. Thank you so much, and we will be right back after a quick break. Stick around.